Channel 6 News, 10 at 10. Good evening, I'm Jackie Ochoa. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Charges are not expected to be filed against the homeowner who fired a fatal shot last night about this time. Gary Smolin is following the story and joins us with the latest. Gary? That's right, Jackie. The investigation into the death of 42-year-old Raul Rivas is almost complete, and it appears that there will be no charges filed against E. Rivas, the homeowner. The story is bizarre because even though E. Rivas had a rifle and had already shot Rivas once, Rivas apparently continued to keep coming at him and forced him to kill him. When officers arrived at the home on Drexel, it looked like the city's first homicide of 2013. But the shooter was the one who called 911, then surrendered his rifle and gave police a statement. The individual with the gun says, I'm, gonna, I'm calling the police, please get down, I don't want to shoot you. Uh, he comes at him and uh, the person with the rifle then fires another shot and hits him in the chest. The physical evidence gathered at the scene seems to verify Erivas' story and matches what others told investigators. The deceased was shot twice, once in the left knee and once in the chest. Uh, this is an ongoing investigation, but at this point in time, uh, all indications are that the, the shooting was justified, uh, that it was self-defense. Klein and the homicide unit will wait for a number of lab tests to be returned before making the final call. Those tests may also help explain why Rivas went to Arivas's home and why he had a confrontation with Arivas's wife. Tried to enter through the door, grabbed her uh, uh, in a threatening manner. Uh, uh, the shooter had gone upstairs, got a, a rifle. If the story we're hearing from authorities holds, and every indication that it will, Rivas had several opportunities to walk away last night and chose not to. The first shot was actually to his knee, but after a few moments, Rivas continued on toward the house, and the fatal wound, of course, hitting him in the chest. Reporting live with photographer Christian Shampoo, Gary Smolin, Channel 6 News.